Most people launch their product and send traffic to their homepage. That's a mistake. Your homepage is built for browsing, not buying. And I'm sure you'll want everything you've invested in promoting through ads and social to pay off. That's why you need a landing page. It's a focused, high converting page with one goal only, getting the sale. But what do you need on a landing page to get the sale? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you step-by-step step with a free tool anyone can use. Now, this landing page is simple. You don't need anything fancy to start. And we're going to put it together with Cprod. It's free, beginner friendly, and works on top of your website theme so you don't have to change anything. Here's the super simple formula we're going to use. Headline, visual, call to action, and testimonial. Let's start with the most important one, your headline. Your headline is the first thing visitors see, and it's the number one thing that decides if they keep scrolling or bounce off your site. It needs to be clear, specific, and focused on the outcome your customer wants. Okay, so now I've jumped into my WordPress dashboard for my demo site, and my demo site is based on a site for a personal trainer. So we're gonna be creating this landing page that you can see on screen right now. And I've got the light version of Cprod installed and activated on my site. And Cprod does come with some templates that you can use for landing pages, but I'm gonna show you how to do this one from scratch. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on the add new landing page button right here. And as I said, you can choose a template if you want. I'm just gonna pick the blank template and choose that. Next thing, just give your page a name. And you'll see once you give your page a name, it also adds that as the page URL for your site as well. Then click save and start editing the page. Okay, so now we're in the Cprod editor. I'm gonna add my first row to my layout here. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna choose the two column layout right like that. Then I'm gonna come over to my blocks here in the panel on the left. And I'm just gonna grab the headline block and drag it into this column right here. Then I'm gonna click on that headline block. And then in this box right here, you type in your headline. And here's a simple formula you can use get result without pain point. It speaks to the result and removes friction. That's what makes it so powerful. So using that formula, I'm gonna type in get fit in 30 minutes a day. And you can see as you're typing that in, it changes in the live view right here. Then we're gonna come down to the align settings. We're gonna align this to the left in that column. And we're gonna choose a font size of 65. We're also gonna highlight text and make it bold as well. As it's our main heading, we're gonna leave it as a H1. And then right below this, we're gonna add in a paragraph block. So we're gonna go back to this blocks button right here, click on that, that opens the blocks in the panel. Then we're gonna to go to the text block. We're gonna drag that across and place it below the heading block. We're gonna click in this, and this time you can actually edit within the text block. So I'm gonna remove all that text and I'm gonna add in a subheading. So with this subheading, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give people what they're gonna get when they download this app. So the no gym required, it's $20 a month and they can use it anytime, anywhere. Once you've added those in, click save to save those changes to the page. Once your headline grabs attention, your visual locks it in. People process visuals faster than text like images, videos, and a good image makes your message feel real. This is where you show your product, your result, or your user in action. Okay, so now let's add our visual to this landing page. The first thing we need to do is we're gonna drop the image block into this column on the right hand side here. So it's gonna click on the blocks button, then come down to image here, and then drag that over to that column. You'll see that's there, just click on it, and it'll open up the settings for it over here on the left. And then to add an image, all you need to do is come into this, choose a new image section, and then either click on use your own image or use a stock image. I'm gonna use my own image that I've uploaded to this site already. So I'm just gonna click on that. That's gonna open up the media library. And this is the image that I'm gonna use right here. So I'm gonna click on select and that drops that image in there. And all we're gonna do with this image is we're gonna come over to advanced here in the settings, click on image border, and then in border radius, just type in 10 pixels. And then that's just gonna round out those edges for that image. If you've got a demo video, even better. Drag in a video block, paste in your link, and you've got an instant engagement boost. This is the moment that turns visitors into leads or customers, your call to action. 
one goal, one button, no confusion. Okay, now, so we're gonna drop in a call to action button. So what I'm gonna do is come over to the blocks button again, click on that, grab the button from the standard blocks here, drag it, and then place it below the paragraph text that I put in there. Then we can click on the button to open up the settings on the left-hand side. First thing we're gonna do is click within the button and we're gonna change that text. We're gonna change it to something that's be action orientated. So I'm gonna type in, get the app. We're also gonna highlight that text and choose bold from the toolbar up here. And we can see that change over here. Then I'm gonna come down. The next thing to do is to link that button up. So you wanna choose the destination to wherever that button is going. I will just show you this as well, that with CProd, if you go back to the blocks here, you do get the option to add a payment button or my pay kit buttons. So my the payment button is a stripe button. If I just drag that in and place it below and then click on it, you'll be able to see you can connect to Stripe. So you can start taking payments from these pages as well. And the my pay kit button is a square payment integration. So it's really handy to know that you have those available within the free version of CPro so you can start taking payments through these landing pages as well. I'm just gonna remove that by clicking on the pay now button here and just clicking delete block and then click yes, delete it. And then back to this button right here, just clicking on it to open up the settings. So once you've linked the button up, that's completely fine. I'm just gonna align it to the left over here so it's all in line with everything else. And then I'm just gonna pick the size as medium and then I'm gonna to come to templates actually and I'm gonna choose the pill button style template. Then I'm gonna click on advanced I'm going to choose the background color. I know my color from the rest of the website is this red color right here. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'm just going to play with a couple of these settings right here. Horizontal padding, I'm going to turn that to 30. Makes the horizontal either side a bit wider. And then button borders radius, I'm just going to choose 12. And that squares out the button. So matching the rest of the site. And then we've now got our heading, our visual and our button. Just going to align everything as I want it. So I'm just going to click in this column here because I want this centered to this image. Click on this column here, scroll down in the content settings, and under vertical, just align center. That's perfect. Then I'm going to click on the outer row here. I click on advanced and I come down to spacing. You can see all the padding for spacing is at 10. So I want to turn that up to 50. And then the I'm gonna unlink by clicking this icon right here. I'm gonna turn, turn the bottom to 20. So there isn't too much spacing at the bottom. And finally, as you might have seen in our demo, the background is black and all the text and everything is white. We're gonna do that now. So sticking with the row settings. So you can see right here, background color. I'm just gonna click on the picker right here and then choose the black color. And don't worry, we'll get the text back. So I'm just gonna click on the heading block Go to advanced, color, and then white. Click on the paragraph block, advanced, color, and then I'll choose that light gray, and that's it. Right now, your visitors trust other people more than they trust you. That's why testimonials are so powerful. They remove doubt before the visitor even asks. If you've not got any customers yet, use other forms of social proof, like 3,000 people joined the waitlist, or featured on Tech Radar or trusted by coaches in 12 countries. Okay, so now to add in our testimonial section, and I have added a little divider here to break up the sections, but below that, what we're gonna do is just click on add new row, and then we're gonna choose a two column layout again. So we're just gonna click on that. Then we're gonna drop in a heading to this side, and then we're gonna drag in a paragraph below that and add social proof text to that. Okay, so we've added in our social proof, join 3000 plus people transforming their fitness. And then we just had a little bit of text below that saying real members, real results, short effective sessions you can actually stick to. Okay, so now we're gonna add our testimonial to this side. And CProd does actually come with a testimonial block. If I type that into the search bar right here, you can see that is part of the pro version of CProd. So if you want this feature, just upgrade to the pro version. A link for that will be in the description below. But we can also do this in the free version. I'm just gonna show you how to do that in a very simple way. So I'm just gonna get rid of that from the search bar. And then we're gonna add in a image block to 
this column right here. I'm going to click on that image block and then I'm going to choose an image from my media library like we did before. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to choose this image right here. I'm going to click on select and that image is quite big. So we're going to turn the image size down to 100. We're going to scroll down a bit and align it to the left. And then we're going to scroll up. We're going to come to advanced. We're going to click on image border and we're going to turn the border and this border is completely linked all the way around to 150. And that turns that into a nice little circle there. So this is a picture of the customer for the testimonial. So below that, we're going to add a text block. So we're just going to drag that across and place it below the image. We're going to click in, highlight everything, remove, and then add our customer testimonial. Okay, so I've added the customer testimonial here and you can't quite see it, but we'll change the color of that in a minute. But I also added in five stars and you can do that by using emojis. So I'm just gonna right click on here, click on emojis and symbols in the settings there. And then I'm just gonna click on the star. Then I'm gonna remove that panel. I'm just gonna highlight the star, copy and paste it five times. And now we have the customer's testimonial their name and their star rating right next to it. And we're just gonna change that to white so it shows up on the page over here. And there we go. Now we've added a very simple customer testimonial to the page. So once you've nailed the core four, which is the headline, image, call to action, and social proof or testimonial, you're almost done. But people might still need a bit of convincing and this is where you can drop in something like a quick benefits section or an FAQ section as well. These answer doubts without forcing visitors to leave your page. Okay, so now we're going to add a FAQ section and we could add benefits section as well to this page if we thought we needed it. But I'm just going to show you how to do the FAQ and just like I said with testimonials, Zprod does actually come with an FAQ option or at least the accordion block option. So if I just type that in the search bar, you'll see there's the accordion there. And that's where if you click on the headings that you'll be able to see in the FAQ section, that just opens up the section below in an animated way so that you can open everything up depending on the question you're looking at. But we're just gonna do this in a super simple way. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And now I'm gonna add another section below this testimonial section. But first I'm gonna duplicate the divider that I've created right here. And then I'm just going to grab that if I highlight it correctly, grab it and move it below this. So there's a divider either side of testimonials. And then below that, I'm just going to click on add a section. And then I'm going to add just a one column section right there. And it doesn't matter that it hasn't got a black background. We'll change it to a black background in a minute. So the block that we're going to drag in here, we're going to drag in a heading block again and a paragraph block. And for the heading, we'll just type in a heading for the FAQ section. Okay, so I've typed in that heading. I'm just gonna align it to the left and then I'm gonna make sure that text is bold as well. And for these two headings right here, they should be on H3 or H2 not h1 so we'll just change that now so for that heading there and that heading there they're h2s and now for our questions and answers and what we're going to do is come into the paragraph block right here we're going to remove all of the text that's in it and we're now going to type our question and then our answer so i've just typed in the question and the answer i'm going to highlight the question i'm going to make the question bold and then we're going to style this section so it looks like the other sections so i'm just going to click on the row itself we're going to choose the background color as the black that the rest of it is the heading we're going to change the color for that to the white and then the paragraph block or the text block we're going to change to the light gray color right there okay so then we've got one q question in there all you need to do now is just duplicate this block as many times as you want for as many questions as you need to finish this section off. So I'll jump ahead and show you what that looks like now. Okay, so now as you can see, I've added in more questions to the FAQ section, and I've also duplicated the call to action button that was at the top of the page up here, 
and moved it to the bottom of the page right here. So if someone reads the FAQ and they like what they read, then they can get the app right there as well. And once you've added all this to your landing page, you're just going to click save to save that. And you can now preview it in a new tab by clicking the preview button. And now we can see our full landing page that we've just created with CPOD for free. We've got the heading section right there. We've got the relevant image there for our app. We've got the call to action, get the app button. We've got our testimonial section and our FAQ section with another call to action at the bottom of the screen. And it's important to remember that if it doesn't support your call to action, so the action you want that visitor to take on that page, cut it out. Now, if I jump back to the editor right here, there are a couple of other things that you can do with this as well. You can connect Zprod up to some email marketing platforms if you've got the pro version. One thing I would definitely do is come to page settings right here, check out the SEO and analytics sections, install Monster Insights. It's gonna give you your analytics for the page. Install all-in-one SEO. That's gonna help you with SEO for the page as well. Connect those up and then check the general tab. Check you're happy with the page title, page URL as well. So we can type that in and have that ready. And then once you're happy with everything, you can then send the page live by publishing it by clicking on this option right here and then clicking on the save button. And that page will now be published on the site, ready for you to start sending traffic its way. So now it's your turn. Don't launch a product without this page. It's the difference between visitors browsing and buying. If this video helped at all, let us know by giving you a like and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions, drop them in a comment below and I'll make sure I get back to you. I'm Ryan, this is WP Beginner and I'll see you in the next video.